Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 8th of August 1969, traffic was stopped on the B507 road in London so that rock band The Beatles could pose for their iconic Abbey Road album cover. The Beatles began work on the Abbey Road album in February 1969, starting just three weeks after the last session for what would become Let It Be. Consequently, Abbey Road was the last Beatles album to be recorded, although Let It Be ended up being released later. George Martin had agreed to produce the album, and many of the backing tracks were recorded with the band playing live as an ensemble. The schedule was loose, and overdubs weren't completed until the 20th of August, 12 days after Scottish photographer Ian Macmillan took his famous photograph of the band on the zebra crossing outside EMI Studios on Abbey Road. The image was based on a sketch by Paul McCartney, and the final shot was one of six photographs taken by Macmillan. He had been granted permission to close the road for just ten minutes, and was assisted by a single policeman who held back traffic as the photographer climbed a stepladder in the middle of the road. The band crossed the road a number of times, and although the shoot began at 11.35am, the day was already getting hot, so for four of the photos McCartney famously didn't wear any shoes. One of these images, in which McCartney is out of step with the other three band members, was eventually chosen for the cover and fueled the Paul is dead conspiracy theory that John Lennon later acknowledged was valuable free publicity for the album. Abbey Road was released on the 26th of September, and the Zebra Crossing soon became a popular location for visiting Beatles fans. Because of its status as one of the most famous locations in pop music, the crossing itself was given Grade 2 listed status in 2010. <laughs>